Hello everybody, this is Vice speaking, and welcome back to part 7 of the Dragon Quest 2 playthrough. In the last episode, I believe we got the ship. It's actually kind of funny because I haven't recorded in a hot minute, I was actually sick. But luckily for me, I recorded some videos in advance, so um, there was only one day where I didn't upload a video, and that was, I believe, yesterday. So, but we're back now. And uh, you may think we're going to start by doing our normal routine and talking around town. Absolutely not. We are going to the final dungeon of Dragon Quest 1. Um, you'll see. You'll see. I did not mean to do that, but okay. Um, I guess I should say that I, I just, I retained this information from the time that I played the original drag uh no from the time excuse me the time that i played through dragon quest 2 um so if you'll just follow me um we only have one destination one item to pick up in here but trust me it is more than worth it so we're gonna take care of some mummy boys here hopefully this battle goes quickly these guys have a lot of hp so um you know don't get swiped by them And that's it for that. Uh, first battle of the episode. I'm already leveling up. The princess, level 15. Yes, I did do some grinding before this episode. Uh, that's that's like always the case now. Agility, resilience, HP, MP. Good MP. I like that. Um, oh. Any new spells at all? Um, yes, the prince learned mid heal, I believe. I think that's the only new one he learned. And the princess, Florette, learned Cassap. Um, I will probably probably be showing off Cassap very soon, so when the time comes, I'll explain it. But for now, um, this path is pretty linear. Um, so with these Gorgons, there is actually a strategy that you want to go by. You want to fizzle them, stop them from casting spells, because they can be pretty annoying if you do not. I'm going to use the Wizard Staff on them. The thing with them is... They're very weak to magical attacks, but they um, they seem to be, um, I don't know, they're kind of resilient to physical attacks, like, you know, just regular old attack. Uh, but anyways, ooh, what do I want to do? Start working on the mummy boy. This should finish off the Gorgons. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded. I might be out of my, uh, out of my swing. But I'll get back into it. Good experience, man. Monsters down here are... are nothing to, you know, nothing to laugh at. These are dragonflies. There's literally nothing special about them. Except that they give you pretty good experience. Um, I think they can cast some type of spell. It's either snooze or fizzle. I can't remember which one. But as you can see, they are a push over. So... 168, not bad. Just gonna go around this room. Now, I might talk through some battles here, but I don't know, I just feel like talking. Um, so, you know, let's, let's talk about snacks. I, um, uh, I can binge eat at literally any time of the day. Um, I highly doubt anybody can do that. I'm just special or something. But, you wanna know what my, one of my favorite snacks is right now? It's Cheez-Its, but it's the hot and spicy kind. Um, oh, I did not, what, what, what's going on? Um, pretty much what the deal is with them is that they, the flavor is amazing, of course. Um, but the texture of the actual cheese, it, it's not too crunchy. You know, it's not like what you would expect. It's, it's the tiniest, teeniest bit soft. But, um, so it's like, it's easy to eat, you know flavors there they're not too spicy for those people who just can't eat spicy foods you know they're they're special but um yeah they, they are they are banging what else i like mentos mentos are always good i like the goldfish um specifically the flavor blasted ones they're just amazing skip that staircase you don't want to go there um saber cats saber cats have a surprisingly low amount of hp um, you'll be able to see that the Prince and Vice can take them out with one attack. I don't know why they're so um, defensively weak, but 
I guess they make up for it because they are very physically strong. So, um, one attack can do like 22 or something. So, you know, don't, don't, don't treat them like pushovers, but you know, you're not gonna be struggling. I'll tell you that much. We go in here. I think for this next one, we go up. Okay, uh, this looks good. This looks good. Um, gremlins. Gremlins are another enemy that you might want to consider fizzling only because they can cast heal on each other and other enemies. So they can get pretty annoying if you don't, um, if you don't keep them on lockdown. I'm gonna throw a whoosh out there. Whoosh is just so good. It's so good. Um, oh, ooh. I got a surprise for you all at the end of the episode. <laughs> I spent an entire night working on it, which you might... In fact, I expect you to be, like, an entire night working on this. But just trust me, like... Well, I don't know. It, it didn't have to take that long. I just, um... I... I'm a perfectionist. So, it has to look the best that it can. It has to sound the best that it, is it can. Um, I might be spoiling it by saying what I'm saying, but you'll just see. You'll see. You'll see. Um, all right, can we can we get this battle moving? We've been here forever. I don't want this trip to take up like the whole episode. Ideally, it takes up half because we've got plans. This attack. Um. <laughs> What else is there? Oh, we celebrated my um, my brother's 21st birthday yesterday. That was awesome. Um, he's just such a cool person. Uh, we made it. This is the only treasure we're after. But as you can see, <laughs> that's a pretty big deal. Urgic sword. So the thing with this sword, I, I don't. I I never really know who to put it on. Because, of course, Vice and the Prince can equip it. Um, now, I'm thinking that Vice will probably benefit the most because Vice will only ever be either using an item which is rare or just straight up attacking every turn. Meanwhile, the Prince um, will most likely be casting spells, but he also can attack sometimes. Um, so I think just to get the most out of it, I would put it on Vice. Of course, the only reason I'm really iffy is because you can't take the steel broadsword and have the prince equip it. He he just can't for some reason. So, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, yes, equip it. I think I'm gonna equip that. At this point, uh, our only option really is to just sell the steel broadsword, which will give us a lot of money. Um, but, yes, with all that said, we're gonna get the heck out of here because we're done. I did not mean to go back in. Um, gonna go back to Tantigil, heal up a little bit. Um, talk to our, our... This dude's just an OG right here. He's just such a... He's so clutch, man. I don't know who in like the team of designers decided to put him in the game. But I hope they got a raise. Because he just makes... You, he makes everything so much more convenient. It's like, come on, dude. He, uh, he doesn't talk to you forever. It's literally two lines. The screen flashes, and you can move right away. So, beautiful. Now, at this point, uh, you guys are just going to have to follow me. I'll, I'll explain to you what's what's going on. We're going to a new town. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um... Now the fastest way to get there, I think I'm going to zoom, stop opening the map, goodness gracious, the buttons are weird, um, so we're going to zoom to Rippleport, because there's a very important item that for some reason takes literally no effort to, um, to get, so we're just going to get it, all you really need is the boat, uh, and you guys will see what I mean very soon. So we're going to come through here, not crash the boat, sail on out of here, and basically what we are going to be doing is we're going to go north, and then we're going to go west until we come out on the opposite side of the world. Um, 
shouldn't be too bad a journey. I'll try to cut out as many battles as I can. Ideally, all of them. But yeah, we're moving. And this is going pretty smooth. I'm surprised I haven't encountered it. Oh, well, there we go. Whoa, okay. So, um, I just fought a gargoyle and it dropped an iron helmet. Now, I don't know if that's actually good or not, but I'm, I'm assuming it has to be. Um, praying that the, of course, the prince can't equip it. But, all right. This game's being fussy. We'll just use one of these on Vice. Um, chance for this to Vice. Because unfortunately, he's the only one who can equip it. And now our defense is that much higher. So that was that was awesome. Um, so at this point, we're going to go north until we come out on the opposite side. So... Um, you can probably see our destination, you can probably guess where it is. It's those two tiny little dots at the, um, southeast portion of the map. There's a town that we want to make a quick visit to. You know, I'm kind of curious, what types of enemies can we find on this tiny island with nothing on it? You'll have to excuse this Cobra Kaiser, okay? You'll have to excuse this little detour, I'm just so... I mean, like, uh, well, they're not that strong. Okay. You know, sometimes you just wonder, like, what the heck type of enemy could you find on a, a tiny little middle of nowhere island? Um, let's see where we are. Okay, so we just uh, we just wrapped, and here we are. We're gonna go straight into town. The humble fishing village of Zahan welcometh thee, friend. Our men are at sea in search of sustenance, and only we women remain. So this is the uh, <laughs> the town full of girls. Now, speaking of that, why the heck is there this... <sighs> Sometimes I hate people in this game. They just don't let you move. What are you doing here? Truth be told, the boat of the men of the town doth sit, dashed asunder on the ocean's floor. But though charged with the bearing of such tidings, I cannot bear to utter the tragic news. Oh, goddess, give me strength. Okay. The only reason we're here is to talk to this dog. You might be wondering why the heck are we talking to a, a dog? Well, as you can see, he, he knows where uh, some shiny object is. We're going to pick it up, and it's the literal gold key. Why they lock it behind a simple dog that takes no effort to get to, I have no idea. But... Now, I don't think there is a single door, other than jail doors, in this entire world that we cannot unlock. So, I'm just going to talk around a little bit more, see what we can learn. Um, when moon shard bright, brightens starry sky, then shall see his waters wax full high. Tis an old rhyme handed down through the generations of our town, though what it signifieth does, doth escape me entirely. Moon shard... Okay, so I'm gonna try and commit the word moon shard to memory, because that sounds kind of important. While the men folk busy themselves at sea, we women folk sitteth not idle. Nay, we busy ourselves in turn with the raising of our beloved children. Okay, that's respectable. I, yeah. Big ups. They do say that somewhere in the vast emptiness of the ocean doth stand a cave girded all about by great corals. My grandmother doth swear that tis only. To the uh, the, uh, the moon shard. See the oh, that's a big deal in this town. The moon shard that the coral will answer, and the cave open wide. So maybe we need this moon shard item to progress through a cave. Yeah, when I am grown big and strong, I shall harvest the fishes of the ocean, just as my father does. Cool. I respect it. What do you say? Uh, okay, juke me out. Knew thee my husband Talis, Ta Talison? He was a kindly man, famed for his love of animals and of dogs in particular. Alas, three years since did he venture forth with the fishing fleet, never again to return. I pray most fervently that a like tragedy hath not befallen us again. Mm, that is kind of curious. I mean, 
are these are these fishes that we keep hearing about are they like safe um when spring hath sprung then shall my beloved luke return to me luke oh luke i don't know i don't know whether to be uh too cautious or not like something just doesn't feel right yonder hound doth bark and bay and tug so at my sleeve i am all afeard how do even these kids know how to talk all proper like this it's so weird i'm not even going to try to walk through this thing um basically these are electric tiles you take like uh, like entire chunks of damage for every step you take and i just don't feel like yeah item shop let's see what they have oh okay speaking of banishing bells i was doing some grinding in charlock castle I um I said Canock in one of the other episodes, um, but yeah I was doing some grinding in the final dungeon of Dragon Quest One earlier, and one of the enemies I think it was the dragon flies they dropped a vanishing bell, so I put it on Florette. Um, nothing too crazy there. Old dudes are wise, so let's see if he has anything to say. Yeah, tis a sight indeed to see a town alive with so many maidens. Julie doth it please mine aged eyes. Alright, calm down, buddy old pal. Turn back, child. Only woe awaited those who would trespass upon this temple's hallowed grounds. Oh, is this what you call hallowed grounds? Man, y'all put that there. Don't even. We already talked to her. I think that might be everybody. Um, no other buildings that I've missed. Except this giant one that seems to be the the core of this town but hey we got what we're looking for so uh you might have guessed it from what we did when we found the silver key but i do think that it would benefit us to go around the world and see if there is um just if there's any gold doors in all the towns that we visited so uh, i'm gonna start with uh, i'm gonna start with where we started oh look at that Come on now. I know you see that. Gold door. Bada bop boom. A seed of life. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, so much gold. Oh my gosh. A seed of strength. Okay, that's that's the mark of urgent. Goodness gracious. Uh that's not something to cough at. And a seed of magic. The first stop and I mean goodness that was intense <laughs> okay um, so we have all these seeds now the seed of life I am absolutely giving that to the princess because she has the lowest HP so we want to try to fix that seed of strength I'm going to give to vice because he is literally only made for attacking so that's a pretty easy decision and finally seed of magic now this is a tough one. Um, I think on average the princess's spells cost more than the prince's, but like things like zoom and evac are so important. Uh, I gotta give it to the princess. I have to. Okay. So what else did we get? Um, it was a medici uh, medicinal herb, some gold, and the mark of urgic. Now, lucky for you guys. Actually, no. No, forget that thought. I'm going to talk around town because I haven't done that yet. Do you truly intend to venture beyond the castle gates? Know then that great danger awaiteth you. If you are resolved to leave nonetheless, keep to the grassy plains. Fiends abound in the forests and mountains of this land. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I too did roam the lands of our world in my younger years. I wonder if my venerable friend dwelleth still in the shrine of south of here. He was the elder there. When last did I visit? Now, what this guy says is actually where I was planning on going. There is a shrine to the south of here, and I'm going to see what it's all about. Um, he's just going to tell us about the teleportal. We already checked those rooms. Wait a minute, wait, did we? Banishing bell. Did I? No, I had to. I definitely have. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm going to make my way to the south. Basically, our destination, if you're looking only at the continent that we're on right now, 
Our destination is the purple dot to the um, most southeast corner. So we're going to have to pass through a cave to get there. Um, if you know how to get there, you can just go. Um, if not, I'm going to show the way there. So you guys can follow me if you... Wait a minute, I'm stupid. We're not... <sighs> no, I got that completely wrong. Oh my gosh, okay. Forget everything you just said. The, the thing to the south is not our destination. I was, for some reason, I thought we were just in the castle of Tantigil. We're in Middenhall. <laughs> so, I'm going to zoom to Tantigil. What we're going to do from there is go east and then south because our destination is the most south um, southeast dot on the continent of Alephgard. So don't get confused. We're going to Alephgard, the most southeast. I'm going to zoom to the castle now. I'm going to show the trip. If you already know how to get there, then you can just go. If not, I am going to show it. So without further ado, <coughs> that was weird. Let's get this show on the road. Gonna end this episode soon, but for now, actually, I think we can make this a lot um, faster if we swim some of this. Yeah, we can skip this whole cave. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's do it. Come down here. Oh, I was drinking sparkling water. <laughs> we gotta level up. Who's is it? Uh, I'm Vice, all right. One strength, not a lot. Three resilience, that's really good. HP? Vice is looking good. That fast? Oh my gosh. Another level up. The Prince to 21. Good agility. Nothing else except HP and MP. And he learns the safe passage spell. Now I'm not even sure if this is what I think it is. So I'm just going to check it. I think it is, actually. Um, party to float unharmed over... Oh, whoa, that is not what I thought that was. So are they saying that we can, like, go over poisonous swamp tiles and that electric stuff? We might just go right back to that town. Goodness gracious, all right. Um, still gonna keep on... To, uh, all right. Just jump me, that's fine. Um, what was I saying? We are, we might even go right back to Zahan. I don't know if we'll do that in this episode or in the next episode. Goodness. No, but, uh, no, because we still have to, that's trash. We still have to see the, um, we have to see if there's gold doors in any of the towns. I cannot finish that sentence. That looks, uh. Looks pretty important. And there's a portal. I wonder where that goes. Long have I awaited you, Kenneverdrick, rightful heirs to the legacy of the hero of legend. May I present unto you the hallowed helm of your mighty forebear. So, um, the reason that he lets us take this willy-nilly is solely because we have the Mark of Erdrick. So if you don't have that, he will tell you to get the heck out of here. So, well, luck, Erdrick's helm that's being covered up by the princess because her head is big, I guess. Now, man, that's big moves. Let's see. Let's see what the big deal is. Oh, this, I had to clean out this inventory. There's too much going on here. Um, dang. I, okay, that's what I did not want to happen. I was hoping the prince could equip it. It's only, uh,. It's only Vice, so his defense is going to be through the roof. And it, Okay, I'll figure this out in the next episode. I'm going to end it off here, um, because recording is at 26 minutes. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, you can always like it. If you did not, you can just like, tell me what I could improve on. And at this point, man, at this point, I'm going to let the new outro roll, okay? The old one, you know... It, it, it was just a bit, nah, the music was good. Music's always good. But like the, the picture with the grunge looking, whatever, and it was blurry, and I had to update things. So, I'm gonna let that do its thing. I'll catch you guys in the next episode, alright? Do what it do. I'm out of here.